Well, welcome everyone to this year's edition of the IC3 blockchain camp. It's hard to believe, but IC3 is now six years old and this is our sixth blockchain camp. For normal people, six years old looks something like this. In the blockchain world though, it looks like this. Six years is an eternity. And it's hard to remember what the world looked like six years ago. So let me remind you. Back at our first summer camp in 2016, we were celebrating the Ethereum Foundation's successful launch of the hard fork in the wake of the DAO debacle. For anyone who remembers the, the DAO, we had a hard fork party. Those were heady days. As you can see, we were consuming champagne back then with plastic forks. We still have a lot to celebrate though. And I wanna mention a few of those things. IC3's contributions have been both broad and deep in a number of areas. One of those of course is education, in some sense our main mission. We have, I think at last count, something like four dozen graduate students being mentored by IC3 faculty. Uh, nearly all of them PhD students. And you see just a smattering on the screen here. Recently, Dawn Song, one of our faculty, together with a colleague of hers at the business school at Berkeley, launched what we believe to be the first decentralized finance course anywhere. And that is being turned now into a multi-campus and online course with lectures being given by many other faculty also at IC3. This is quite a nice accomplishment. Of course, another of the major contributions we make is in the area of research. And let me mention just a couple of examples. A few weeks ago, there was a one-day summit, very well-attended one-day summit on the topic of MEV or minor extractable value. That concept and the problems it introduces were first discussed in an IC3 published paper, Flash Boys 2.0 led by Phil Diane, a PhD student in, in IC3 in conjunction with a number of others. Another paper that I'm particularly proud of is our paper last year on CBDC, which of course remains a hot topic. And the reason I'm proud of it is because it brought together so many different faculty and others within IC3, a dozen IC3ers, if you will, participated in the writing of this paper, along with a distinguished economist, Ashwar Prasad. And this was a truly interdisciplinary work. It involved not just Ashwar, but a legal scholar within IC3, James Grimmelman, and faculty addressing a range of different topics within the blockchain world. And this has become a fairly influential paper in CBDC circles, as evidenced by its being Reference, for instance, in speeches by the governor of the Bank of England and the president of the Deutsche Bundesbank. Yet another area in which IC3 has made substantial contributions, very impactful ones in practice, is in the launching of a range of different ventures, commercial and, and otherwise. And you see some of them shown here. These ventures have involved uh, or have been founded by IC3 faculty, students, or postdocs, or involved heavy in, or had heavy involvement by IC3 members. And these have greatly enriched the blockchain ecosystem in a number of ways in terms of scaling and capabilities and so on and so forth. Of course, none of this would be possible without the uh, incredibly fruitful interactions we have with our industry partners. And we're very grateful to them, both for their technical collaboration and their guidance and the internships that they have offered our PhD students, our PhD students have capitalized on and their support in general for our research. So thank you to them. And I look forward to yet more productive conversations with them at this year's event. Of course, sadly, we could not be together in person this year, but let me just remind you with this photo of what that looks like. 
and express the hope that we'll have a chance to do that again soon in the near future. In the meantime, enjoy the event and enjoy our exciting program. With that, let me turn the flow over to our technical committee to discuss the coding camp and other camp uh, events and the uh, agenda for the week. Thank you.